friends, good morning. Um, today we are just going to do some vinyasa flow. We're going to do a few sun A's and a few sun B's to get your blood flowing for the day. If you'd like to add on any stretching or standing postures, you're welcome to add on another sequence from the set of videos. Okay? Alright, let's go ahead and start by connecting with our breath. If you like, you can sit crisscross applesauce or lie back on your mat. I'm sitting on my feet. However you like, just as long as you have a nice long line from the top of your head to your tailbone. And do a finger tracing breath once again. To your thumb at the base of your pointer finger. Inhale, tracing up. Exhaling. Tracing down. Tall finger, inhale. Tracing up. Exhale. Tracing down. Ring finger, inhale. Tracing up. Exhale. Tracing down. Pinky finger, inhale, tracing up. Exhale, tracing down. Ring finger, inhale, tracing up. Exhale, tracing down. Tall finger, inhale, tracing up. Exhale, tracing down. Finally, point your finger, inhale, tracing up. And exhale, tracing down. Okay, friends, to get our spine just a little loosened up here before we start our flow, you can come into child pose on your mat, knees together or knees wide. Head down on the mat or resting on stacked fists. Take two big breaths here. On your next inhale, come up into a tabletop. We'll go through our cat and cow. Inhale, dropping your belly. Head and tailbone to the sky. Exhale, arching your back. Inhale, drop your belly. As you start to relax and unwind here or wake up, whichever thoughts, exhale, as thoughts start to come into your mind, try to just let them go for a few minutes while you take care of your body. Exhale, drop your belly. Give your brain a break from all that it's been thinking about and worrying about these past few months. Okay, here we go, friends. If you would like more warm-ups before you continue, go ahead and do any stretches that you like. I'm trying to keep these a shorter time, so I'm going to keep going. So step in your hands one step ahead, tap your toes, and bring your hips to the sky. Pedaling out one foot and then the other, bending your knees. Find a moment of stillness. Walk your feet up toward your hands, about hip width apart. Grab opposite elbow, bending your knees, dropping your head. Allowing your arms to swing back and forth for a bit of a figure eight pattern. My knees are bent and my belly is lying on my on my legs. Okay. Go ahead and inhale. Arms up overhead. Do sun one sun breath. Exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift. Exhale forward fold. 
Inhale, arms up overhead, and hands to heart. Okay, let's go ahead and link that with the chaturanga. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, stepping your feet back into high plank, knees up or down. Exhale, down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Back into child pose, and then we'll all meet into down dog. Big breath here. Exhaling feet between your hands. Inhale, your arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, stepping back, knees up or down. Inhale here, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, back into downward dog. All right, we'll do one more sun A. So bring your feet between your hands once more. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. If you notice me stepping back and forth on my mat, Inhale, halfway lift. It's so I can keep my body and my face in the screen. Exhale. Plant your hands and step back. Inhale here. Exhale, halfway down or all the way. Inhale up. Exhale. Back into downward dog. All right, friends. Let's switch into our sun B. Inhale, right leg high or whichever you prefer to start with. Exhaling, bring the knee towards your nose. Plant your foot in front. Plant your back heel on the mat. Rise up to your warrior one. Good. Okay. Bring your hands back toward the mat. Front foot meets the back, and you know what to do. Exhale down. Up. Down dog. Here you go. Opposite foot high to the sky, nice long line from the top of your head to your foot. Knee to nose, planting your foot in front, dropping your back heel, raising up for warrior one. Very good. Okay, hands to the mat. Bring your foot back. Here we go. You guys are giving me a workout today. Up dog. And back to child pose, or we all meet in down dog. Okay, from here, friends, it's back to your original side. So, my right leg is high. I'm putting my left hand under my nose. I'm going to choose to flip my dog, which means my lifted leg has come back over. You can play with that if you'd like. Otherwise, just keep your legs high in the sky. For those of you that have flipped your dog, go ahead and come back into your three-legged dog. Bring your knee towards your nose. Plant your foot in the front. Drop your back heel. Raise up into your warrior one. Very good. From here, we'll add one thing. Hands behind your back. Grab opposite elbow or opposite hand. Fold forward for a humble warrior. find your thoughts coming in towards your mind as you rest here, go ahead and try to let them pass. Rising back up to warrior one, hands come to the mat, and front foot back, you know what to do, chaturanga. Good job. Opposite foot high to me, this is my left foot. Right foot hand, my right hand is under my nose. I flip my dog. My raised leg has come over. Here we are. For those of you that chose not to flip your dog, your leg is still in the air. And we will all meet you back now. Flipping back to our three-legged dog. Bring that knee towards your nose. Plant your foot. Back heel on the mat. Inhale, arms up overhead. From here, grab your arms behind your back, grabbing opposite hand or elbow, folding forward over your front knee. For me, I just ask for a moment of grace while I'm down here. Try to let 
let it all go for just a moment. Okay, inhale back, arms back overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat. You know what to do. Exhaling down, inhaling up, and exhaling back into our downward dog. Okay, friends, we'll mix it up one more time. One more sunbeam with some variation. Inhale your original leg, send me my right leg overhead. And exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. And one last. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Planting your foot on the mat, back heel on the ground. Warrior one, or to warrior two. Shift forward over your front hand, extended side angle. Reverse your warrior. Windmill your hands down to the mat. Front foot meets the back, and here we go. Exhale down, inhale up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhaling left leg or opposite leg up high. Bring that knee to your nose. Inhale, long. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, long. Exhale, knee to nose. And last one, inhale, long. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant that foot on the mat. Back heel. Heavy of wardrobe malfunction. There we go. Inhale, arms up for warrior one, warrior two. Inhale, exhaling, shift forward over your front hand. Extended side angle. Inhale into warrior two. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Windmill your hands toward the mat. Front foot meets the back. Inhale here, exhale down, inhale up dog, exhale into downward dog. Excellent work, friends. Inhale here and exhale, step your feet between your hands. Inhale your arms up overhead and exhale hands, heart center. See, we're going pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and do a quick chair and a prayer twist, okay? Remember, keep the bottom of your leg really perpendicular to the floor. Hips back like you're sitting in a chair. Hands to heart center, friends. Okay, prayer twist. You bring your elbow outside of the opposite thigh. If that does not feel good, which why would it? You can bring it in between your legs or Bring your same hand to your thigh, your opposite hand to your knee. Either way, you're getting a nice twist. Okay. Hands back to center. See if you can challenge yourself. Keep your knees bent. Hands back to heart. Twisting the other direction. Elbow outside of your knee. Between your knees. Or same hand to hip. Opposite hand. To me. Come back to center. Let's finish it strong. Okay, we're going to go to eagle. I'm putting my right leg over. Woo! My legs are tired. Right leg over. Right arm under. See if you can keep those legs bent. Very good, guys. Unwind, tap them out for just a second. Let's do the other side. Bring my left leg over, left arm under. Here we go. Good job, everyone. And unwind. Excellent. 
come to seated. Bring our legs forward. I'm gonna rub out my thighs a little bit. Okay. I feel like I'm trying to hurry, but maybe we should do a little stretching. That was the hard part of our class, friends. Go ahead and turn off the um, video if you'd like. I'm gonna offer just a quick supine twist here. So if you'd like, you can lie down on your back. Knees up, feet to the ground. Bringing your knees to drop to one side, nose to the other. Inhale your knees to the sky and exhale them to the other side, nose going opposite. Okay, friends, from here, bring your knees back towards the sky. Bring your legs long. If you can, take a moment just to rest. You can stay lying down. I'm going to read you one quick poem. And then you're off to whatever, you else, whatever else you have to do today. This poem is called what to Remember When Waking by David White. In that first hardly noticed moment in which you are awake, coming back to this life from the other, more secret, movable, and frightening, frighteningly honest world where everything began. There is a small opening into the new day which closes the moment you begin your plan. What you can plan is too small for you to live. What you can live wholeheartedly will make plans enough for the vitality hidden in your sleep. To become human is to become visible while carrying what is hidden as a gift to others. To remember the other world in this world is to live in your true inheritance. You are not a troubled guest on this earth. You are not an accident amidst other accidents. You were invited from another and greater night than the one from which you have just emerged. Now looking through the slanting light of the morning window toward the mountain presence of everything that can be what urgency calls you to your one love? What shape waits in the seed of you to grow and spread its branches against the future sky? Is it waiting in the fertile sea and the trees beyond the house? In the life you can imagine for yourself, in the open and lovely white page on the writing desk. It's from a book called The House of Belonging. Thank you for joining me, friends. I hope you guys have a good day or evening. My hands are to my head. May you have peace in your thoughts. Hands to my lips. Peace in your words. And hands to heart. Peace in your spirit. Namaste.